guys, so um, my background and setup is a little different. I'm farther away from the camera quite a bit. Um, so I'm just testing this out to see if I like it. But a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a bookshelf tour. And I feel like I just did a bookshelf tour. But as I was like watching it back, I realized I haven't done one since I got my two new bookshelves. So I just finished reorganizing them yesterday. So today I will be doing a bookshelf tour. So that is the general overview and setup, I guess, of my bookshelves. I have four really tall ones and six short ones. Um, so yeah. So I'll start by showing you this one, this first one first, obviously. So how I arranged my shelves were by completed series, almost completed series, um, books I only have the first one to, and books I have like the last one to, and standalones. So this first shelf is all completed series, but up at the top, I have, should I just see in? I have my little Sarah's Angel, um, my cupcake mug with bookmarks, some dust jackets, my TBR jar, that's also a cupcake, and another angel. So on the shelf underneath that, I have the Crank Trilogy, which is Crank, Glass, and Fallout, all by Ellen Hopkins. Then I have my Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins, which is Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Then I have the Uglies series by Scott Westerfeld, so that's Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras. Then I have my Immortals series, I think it's called, by Allison Noel, so that's Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, Dark Flame, Night Star, and Everlasting. I think that's the completed series. And then I have my Matched Trilogy by Ali Condi, so that's Matched, Crossed, and Reached. So then I go on to other finished series. I have the Gathering series, or trilogy, I guess, by Kelly Armstrong, so the Gathering, the Calling, and the Rising. Then I have the... John Cleaver Trilogy, I think it's called, by Dan Wells, so that's I Am Not a Serial Killer, Mr. Monster, and I Don't Want to Kill You. Then I have the Beautiful Disaster, I don't know what they're called, um, Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire, and the sequel to that, which is Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Then I have Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Kinder Blake. Then going to the other side, I have The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, and The Kill Order, all by James Dashner. Then I have book one through five of The Thirst series by Christopher Pike. And the Summer Trilogy, I think it's called. So The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. Then I have my Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer, so Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Then I have this little duology by Jennifer Lee Carroll, um, so that's Interred with the Bones, or Their Bones, I don't know, and Haunt Me Still. They were both bargain books, so. Then I have my Hush Hush series, so it's by... Becca Fitzpatrick. I don't know why I totally blanked on that name. So that's Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. Then I have my Elixir Trilogy by Hilary Duff. So that's Elixir, Devoted, and True. And then, of course, I have my Beautiful Creatures. Or no, that's not what it's called. Caster Chronicles, I think by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So that's Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. So then for my last shelf on this bookshelf, I have my Aragon series, I think it's called. So Aragon, Eldest, Bersinger, and Inheritance 
by Christopher Paolini. Then I just have some books by L.J. Smith because they're all bind-ups, so I count them as completed series. So, Dark Visions, The Forbidden Game, and Night World 1 through, I think it's 9. Then I just have my death notebooks, and number 1 is missing because I'm reading it right now. So now I will be showing you this new white shelf. So up at the top, I just have a picture of me and my mom from last year, another angel, I don't know why, and I think it's like a bookend that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond, and it says, a hope is the dream that awakens the soul. I don't know, I just loved that. So on this first shelf, I have, I don't know what it's called, I think it's the Millennium Trilogy or something. But it's the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, and the girl who played with fire all by Stieg Larsson. Then I have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate, so Fallen, Torment, Passion, and Rapture. Then the Across the Universe series by Beth Revis, so Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth. Then I have the little Summer in the City, um, Carrie Diaries duology, I guess, which is the prequels to The Sex in the City by Candace Bushnell. So that is The Carrie Diaries and Summer in the City. Then I have my four Scott Pilgrim books, which are just little graphic novels by Brian Lee O'Malley. Then I have The Hypnotist in the Nightmare by Lars Kepler. I haven't read those yet. And then I just have um, book one through six of The House of Night. I used to have all of them, but I'm not a fan of this series, so I just started giving them to my friends. So then we move on to this shelf, and the reason I have so much gapping on this shelf is because now we go into my unfinished series shelf, so that way when I get the books that finish these series, I can just add them in and I don't have to rearrange my whole bookshelf. Um, but first, I have this little picture frame that I think I had in my other bookshelf tour, um, so it's the quote, we read to know that we are not alone, by C.S. Lewis. So that's the person that wrote the Narnia, which I have underneath. Um, so yeah, I just bought a cheap frame from Walmart and bought some, that pretty duct tape. And yeah, just made my own pretty picture frame. Then I have a candy jar because my friends and my dad like to just come down and eat my candy so my dad eats the Tootsie Rolls and yeah it's just I think a nice fun way to color up a bookshelf which speaking of which I used to have this one also on my bookshelf but I put it in my bathroom because I think it adds nice color to my bathroom because these are really ugly colored walls so the books I have on this shelf are the Wither Trilogy, but I don't have the middle book. So that should be Fever in between Wither and Sever by Lauren Stefano. Then I have Vesper and Havoc by Jeff Sampson, and the one I'm missing there is called Ravage, I think. Then I have Captivate, Entice, and Endure by Carrie Jones, and the one I'm missing is the first one. And that's Need, but I read it, so I just have to get on to the other books in the series. Then I have The Selection and The Elite by Kira Cass, and the other one's not released yet. And then I have Partials and Fragments by Dan Wells, and apparently there's a third book. So I did not know that. I thought a sequence meant just two books. So I would have taken the time to, you know, pull out all the books and show you all the covers, but since I have so many books, that would have taken forever. But then we go on to my, I like to call them whatever-ish books. Um, I have the bind-up of The Nine Lives of Chloe King by, I forget her name, Liz Braswell? I uh, know. Yeah. And then I have my Chronicles of Narnia bind-up by C.S. Lewis. And then I have, I think this is all of them, books 1 through 8 of the Anne of, Green, Anne of Green Gables series by L.M. Montgomery. These were actually my grandma's copies that she gave to my mom and then my mom gave to me. 
so I haven't read them, but I might. Then I have Until the End by Christopher Pike, which is another bind-up. And then my... I don't know what the series is called, but I'm just going to call it the Nightshade Trilogy. So I have Nightshade, Wolfsbane, and Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. Then, of course, my bind-up, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And the books I have of the Vampire Academy series. So I think I'm missing just the fourth and the sixth book. So then I have another shelf of my not completed series. I have Starcrossed and Dreamless by Josephine Angelini. I'm just missing the last one, which I think just came out. And then I have Wake and Lullaby by Amanda Hawking, and I don't think the third one's out yet. Um, so I think these were all trilogies on this shelf, actually. And then I have A Discovery of Witches and Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness, and I don't think the third one's out either. But then I have Shiver and Forever by Maggie Steve Otter, and for some reason I don't have the second book. Then I have Halo and Hades by Alexandria uh, Adornetto, I think. Um, I haven't read these yet, but I've heard nothing but amazing things, so I just have to get the third one, which is called Heaven. Then I have Legend and Prodigy by Marie Lu, um, Under the Never Sky and Through the Ever Night by Veronica Rossi, and Glow and Spark by Amy Kathleen Lim Ryan. So then I have my V.C. Andrews series. Um, so these two are Bind Ups, Flowers in the Attic, and Petals on the Wind, If There Be Thorns and Seeds of Yesterday, and then Garden of Shadows. Hi, puppy. My dog's here. Hi, Munchkin. So while I play with my dog, um, I have my three Tales of Lovecraft Middle School series by Charles Gilman, so that's Professor Gargoyle, The Slither Sisters, and Teacher's Pest. Then I have Greasling by Kirsten Kishore, because I only have the first book, but I've been meaning to get the other ones. Then I have My Lord of the Rings, which is The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. So you're casting a shadow. Um, then I have three of the Pretty Little Wires books. I don't even remember. I think it's eight, nine, and ten. I don't know. By Sarah Shepard. So I have Wanted, Twisted, and Ruthless. Munchkin. Just excuse my dog. Um, then I have two books in the Misty. <laughs> so then I have, I think it's book one and five of the... Evernight series by Claudia Gray. Um, so that's Balthazar and Afterlife. And then I have um, my copy of River Stars by Guy Cabriel K that Penguin sent to me. And I didn't know it was the second book in a series. So I'm going to have to get my hands on the first one. You just going to sit there and act pretty now? Okay, thank you. So now I will show you this first shelf on my wall. So then up at the top of this one I have another angel, um, a picture of me and my brother from when we were like little little kids of Christmas. Just a cosmetic bag because I always lose them so I'm trying to put them where I can see them. And then a precious moments. I don't remember what that one's for. Then for this first shelf is just more um, uncompleted trilogies. So I have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Angel Burn and Angel Fire by L.A. Weatherly, Heist Society, and Perfect Scoundrels, again I'm missing the second book, by Ali Carter, Eve and Once by Anna Carey. Um, this is completed. The L.A. Candy, Sweet Little Lies, and Sugar and Spice by Lorna Conrad. But this one isn't, and they're just companion series, but it's the fame game in Starstruck, so I just think the third one, that's just a picture of me and my friends. Then, this might be like my favorite shelf, or the popular shelf, I don't know. Um, so I have Ruby Red and Sapphire Blue by Kristen Gear, Divergent and It's Surgent by Veronica Roth, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, which is the Infernal Devices, by... Cassandra Clare, I don't know why I blinked. 
then the mortal instruments so city of bones city of ashes city of glass city of fallen angels and city of lost souls by cassandra clare then i have daughter of smoke and bone and days of blood and starlight by laney taylor and everneath and everbound by brody ashton and another frame i made with a quote in it that says a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies the man who never reads lives only once that's by george r r martin who wrote the game of thrones which is on the next shelf. So then on this shelf I have my Game of Thrones books um, by George R. R. Martin. And yes, I'm missing the fifth one. Then the rest of the shelf is more like my contemporary or summer reads just because I wanted to have them all together. So I have all my Sarah Destin books. So Dreamland, Someone Like You, What Happened to... Yeah, What Happened to Goodbye and That Summer. Then I have Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. Then I have all my Nicholas Sparks books. So I'll Walk to Remember, The Lucky One, Safe Haven, The Notebook, The Best of Me, and The Last Song. Then I have Easy by Tamara Weber, um, Skinny Dipping by Bethany Frankel, One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich, Mostly Good Girls by Lila Sales, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, Between the Lines by Jodie Bicolt and Samantha Van Leer. 10 Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah Milanowski, The Duff, which I love, by Cody Kaplinger, and Withering Tights by Louise Renison. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Then I just have this little souvenir that I got when I went to Chichen Itza in Mexico. So, so on this next shelf, I have more unfinished series or trilogies. I have Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, um, Soul Screamers by Rachel Vincent, um, Volume 1 and 2. I have Bright Young Things and Beautiful Days by Anna Godberson. I always forget that name. Then I have two Stephen King books. The only ones I have that are a series. Um, so that's the Dark Tower series, I think. So I have The Drawing of the Two and The Wind Through the Keyhole by Stephen King. I have The Folly, the, uh, <laughs> I have The Fallen Volume 1, which is a bind up of two of the books. I have Unearthly by Cynthia Hand and Croak by Gina D'Amico. So then I have more unfinished series. So I have Juliet Immortal by Stacy J. Breathe by Sarah Crossan, The Stranger by Max Fry, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, My Arc of Elemental by Anthony John, Variant by Robinson Wells, The Farm by Emily McKay, The Mockingbirds by Daisy Whitney, Envy by Greg Olson, The Giver by Lois Lowry, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and Splintered by A.G. Howard. So now we're on to my last tall bookshelf. So up at the top I have just a few pictures. Um, me at my first communion with my grandparents. Another TBR jar. But that one is just of all the big books I have because I am doing the big book challenge. Um, so yeah, and then I just have more pictures. And yeah, that's me with another picture frame I made. I really like that duct tape. Then on the shelf underneath, I have more books that are going to have more books in the series, which is why there's so much room left. That's me and my friend Cassidy with our YTF ticket. Yeah. So I got on the shelf The Diviners by Lobo Bray, Icons by Margaret Stoll, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter, Dark Eden by Patrick Carmen, Pivot Point by Casey West, Mind Games by Kirsten White, The Archived by Victoria Schwab, and of course The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And on the shelf underneath, I don't have much, that's just hair dye stuff. Um, but these books are also going to have more books to the series, so that's why I left so much room. So I have Altered by Jennifer Rush, Quarantine by Lex Thomas, Hereafter by Tara Hudson, The Darkest Minds by Alexandria Bracken. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, Grave Mercy by Robin the Fevers, and then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and Prophecy of the, Sis 
Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. Then on this shelf, just another picture. Um, but I have more books that are going to be in a series. So I have I Am Number 4 by Pitticus Lore, Angel Fall by Suzanne E., The Hunt by Andrew Fukuda, Dark Angel by Eden McGuire, Night by Ellie, v Ellie Wiesel, Deja Dead by Kathy Righteous, I think. Uh, Who Could That Be at This Hour? All the Wrong Questions by Lemony Snicket, The Secret Under My Skin by Janet McNaughton. Immortal Beloved by Kate Tierman, Tempest Rising by Tracy Deeps, um, Shade by Jerry Smith Ready, um, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, um, Invasion by John S. Lewis, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and Bite Me by Christopher Moore. That's actually the third book in a series, but I just put it on that shelf. So this is the shelf where they're not the first book in the series. So that's why they're kind of at the bottom as well. So I have, let's zoom in, Splendor by Anna Godberson, which is from the Lux series. Frenzy by Robert Lapiro. I don't know what series that one's from. The Dreamhouse Kings, I guess. The Murder of Bindi McKenzie by Jocelyn Moriarty. Blessed by Cynthia Smith. Um, Dead or Alive by Tom Clancy. Supernaturally by Kirsten White. Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, Deadly Little Games, Deadly Little Games by Lori Feria Stores, I think, Chain Reaction by Simone Alcalaz, The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan, The Dead, Toffs, Dead Tossed Waves by Carrie Ryan, Spells by April and Pike, Plagued by Michael Grant, and Nevermore by James Patterson. And I just found these books on my floor, I don't know why they're not on my shelf, but I have Suck It Up by Brian Mijo, Defiance by C.J. Redwine, Scarlet by A.G. A.C. Gahan, and The Taker by Amakatsu. So then we go on to my last little mini shelves. So like I said, these are all my standalones, but I'll start over here. I have The Five People You Meet in Heaven and The Timekeeper by Mitch Album, Speak and Winter Girls by Laurie Held Anderson, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, my Sweet Audrina by V.C. Andrews. Go Ask Alice by, I think it's Beach or something, but it says not on the book, so that's what I'm going with. The Future of Us by Jay Ash and Carolyn McElroy. Trust Your Eyes by Linwood Barclay. I Am J by Chris Beam. Audrey Waite by Robin Benway. Beach Coming at Miramar by Richard Bode. The Murder of Princess Diana by Noelle Botham. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. My Name is Memory by Anne Brashers. I think that's how you say it. Brashers. Hate List by Jennifer Brown. Damaged by Pamela Kalau. The Living Beach by... Something Cameron. Um, the Devil and Me by J.D. Carpenter. All I Need by Rebecca Kerrigan. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, and Period 8 by Chris Crutcher. Yeah, they are in alphabetical order. Then I have my pretty Penguin Classic edition of The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, The Damage Done by Hilary Davis Davidson, 419 by Will Ferguson, my mom picked that. Um, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Beastly by Alex Flynn, Gone Girl by Julian Finn, yeah, that's a tall book, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, What Happened to Cass McBride by Gail Giles, Memories of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, um, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Looking for Alaska by John Green, and Paper Towns by John Green, Snow White by The Brothers Grimm, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia, Horns by Joe Hill, The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman, Tilt by Ellen Hopkins, Creeps by Darren Hines, Memories of a Milk Curtain Kid by Tanya Nicole Cash, and Are You For Real by Sarah Kedifors. I think that's how you say it. Then for this bottom shelf, I have Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen, In With the Devil by James Keane, 
Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King, and then all my Stephen King books. So, Black House, Carrie, It, Misery, and The Shining. I have Sean Griswold's Head by Lindsay Leavitt. Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Shutter Lee. Island by Dennis Lahane. Every Day by David Levithan. The Unidentified by Ray Mariz. Velveteen by Daniel Marks. Rage Against the Dying by Becky Masterman. Um, Titanic by Rupert Matthews. Cryer's Cross by Lisa McMahon. Ten by Gretchen McNeil. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Unwanted by Christina Olsen. And Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Then we get on to my last shelf, which is just these two little shelves. So, I have His Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal, Wonder by R.J. Palacio, um, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult, Witch World by Christopher Pike, Bleeding Violet by Dia Reeves, Illegal by Bettina Restrepo, Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, As I Wake by Elizabeth Scott, The Lovely Bones by Alice Seerold, Macbeth by William Shakespeare, The Madman's Daughter by Sarah Shepard, I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan, The Complete Mouse by Art Spielgman, where it began by Anne Reddish Stampler, uh, The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman, The Help by Kathleen Catherine Stockett, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Famous by Todd Strasser, Remembering Raquel by Vivian Van Veld, Eric Walters, We All Fall Down or We All Fall Down by Eric Walters, Between by Jessica Warman, um, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Robopocalypse by Daniel H. Wilson. That one was also too tall. Choker by Elizabeth Woods. The Space Between by Brenna Yovanoff. And The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And down here I just have extra printer paper and, yeah, random stuff. On top of these bookshelves I just have my DVD player, my satellite dish for my TV, my printer, and my Wii. So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour. Hope you guys had fun. And I hope it wasn't too long, but I'll try editing it down as much as I can. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.